everybody. Uh, you might have seen uh, the other day <coughs> me making the constituent parts for these little Kyushu teapots. Well, that's one I've just done now, and uh, here's the video of uh, how I put it all together. I'm just going to have a simple foot on this. Conscious of making it not too narrow, this foot ring obviously because it's going to have um, hot liquid in it, you don't want it toppling over. It needs a firm base, so I'm making it slightly wider than I would a small moon jar. And also, I'm going to take a measurement of it so I can get them all the same. So that's the same as slightly wider than the opening at the top. Oops. Where is it? I'm just going to it off with my finger because it goes on shiny surfaces sometimes. And that's it. Okay, now I've got the um, the constituent parts of the the teapot. That fits okay. These dry at slightly different rates, so you have to be um, aware of the shrinkage. But that one's fine. The teapot spout's going to go on there, so I just have to cut it now. I'm trying to do this in a position where you can actually see it. So. I use a wire to cut it. If you try and cut it with a knife, I can never get it even. So, I'll start at the top. Cut through it with a wire. Pull it down evenly on both sides. Right, that's the about cut off, it's a bit uneven but I'm going to use a knife and just trim the inside there, make it a little thinner also just cut this end off so it's a round sort of a round shape oops don't normally work in this angle but it's for you. <laughs> so the teapot spout's going to go there. Now what I'll do with this is I'll dip it in the I dip it in the uh, in the, the, the slot bucket and just leave that to soften for a bit while I get on with the uh, piercing. So we'll offer it up to get a mark. mark where we need to cut the holes, take that off and let that soften a little bit. So there I've got a, a um, the area where I want to cut the holes in it and I use a, a hole cutting tool which is a sort of a half a piece of tube that's been uh, filed to a point cheap enough to buy. I'll start in the centre and I'll try and keep an e as even a, as even a, a, um, a pattern as I can because it's visible from the inside obviously and it's nice to work neatly if you can. Okay so that's a fairly even pattern there as much as I can do showing you in the camera. Let's put another one here. These might get covered up by might get covered up by the um, by the spout going on, but uh, I'll just roughen this edge here now. <coughs> now I've got a toothbrush. I'm just using slops out of the 
a try. Some slip around the edge. Make sure you don't cover the holes up. Now this has softened up a little bit now, so oops. Spread it out. Offer it up and make sure that it's straight. Press it on and because that's softer now, you can see how softer that is now than the, the rest of the body. It'll just smooth into the body. Keep it in shot. I'm just trying to make it as awkward as I can for myself. <laughs> with this filming. It doesn't normally work this way. for you here so I don't, you don't get too bored watching this. And there's the teapot spout on the lid. I just need to put the side handle on there. Now what I've done with the side handles yeah, I'll just neaten that up when it dries a little bit. That's the teapot now, I just need to put the side handle on. I'll just get that for you now. Right, on these traditionally the side hand handles are a, a sort of thrown tube that you can hold, but I can never seem to be I can never seem to get them right. Everyone else seems to do them okay, but mine never happen with mine. So what I do with mine is I pull a handle. Now I've left this overnight to stiffen up, they're just a pulled handle and that's going to go on here. So I just need to cut it off, open it out, score it. Leave that again to soften a little bit. I need to decide where this is going to be. So it's going to be about there. So I'll score this. Come on, slip. Take the lid off so I don't break it. And then Supporting it from the inside, just press it on. Now, obviously, if this was a if this was a rounded teapot handle, I would pull this a little bit more and curb it down. But as I want it to stand out. I'm going to leave it like that and I can attach it when it's a little bit firmer and then oops <laughs> I need to cut off the handle now what I'll do is I'll uh, position this on a board so that's supported so it doesn't sag because it will sag in a minute when I leave it to dry so that will stay like that there's the, the lid on it and all I need to do now is put the air hole in the top so when it pours it will pour without glugging That's it finished. Uh, pretty cack handed way of uh, putting it all together on camera, but you know, I work here normally <laughs> away from the camera, but you can't see it, so 
apologies for my ham fistedness but that's it done Kyusu teapot with a wave cut lid right that's it I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, it's, I hope it was informative it's a bit wobbly in places because I'm trying to sort of do it for the camera rather than just for myself I normally work quite close to me but you can't see that so uh, I hope that was okay and uh, see you next time